Hi, praise be to God. The book of Numbers chapter 13 verse 1 to 3 says that the Lord said to Moses, Send out some men to explore the land of Canaan, which I'm giving to the Israelites. From each ancestral tribe, send out one of its leaders. So at the Lord's command, Moses sent them out from the desert of Paran. All of them were leaders of the Israelites. Notice that all the men that Moses sent out to explore the land were leaders of the Israelites. In Numbers chapter 13, verse 26 to 29, the word of the Lord says that they came back to Moses and Aaron and the whole Israel community at Kadesh in the desert of Paran. There they reported to them and to the whole assembly and showed them the fruit of the land. They gave Moses this account. We went into the land which you sent us, and it does flow with milk and honey. Here is its fruit. But the people who live there are powerful. The cities are fortified and very large. We even saw descendants of Anak there. The Americas live in the Negev. The Hittites, Jebusites, and Amorites live in the hill country. And the Canaanites live near the sea and along the Jordan. Then verse 30 says that, Then Caleb silenced the people before Moses and said, We should go up and take possession of the land, for we can certainly do it. Going to verse 31 to 33, the word of the Lord says that, but the men who had gone up with him said, We can't attack those people. They are stronger than we are. And they spread among the Israelites a bad report about the land they had explored. They said, The land we explored devours those living in it. All the people we saw there are of great size. We saw the Nephilim there. We seemed like grasshoppers in our own eyes, and we looked the same to them. Going back to verse 32, the word of the Lord says that, and they spread among the Israelites a bad report about the land they had explored. Since the men Moses sent to explore the land were leaders of the Israelites, the Israelites listened to them. They had influence over the Israelites. And when they came back and spread a bad report among the Israelites, the Israelites believed their report. The Israelites took their words serious. So in Numbers chapter 14 verse 1 to 4, the word of the Lord says that, That night all the members of the community raised their voices and wept aloud. All the Israelites grumbled against Moses and Aaron, and the whole community said to them, If only we had died in Egypt or in this wilderness, why is the Lord bringing us to this land only to let us fall by the sword? Our wives and children will be taken as plunder. Wouldn't it be better for us to go back to Egypt? And they said to each other, We should choose a leader and go back to Egypt. Then verse 5 to 9 says that, Then Moses and Aaron fell face down in front of the whole Israel assembly gathered there. Joshua son of Nun and Caleb son of Jephunneh, who were among those who had explored the land, tore their clothes and said to the entire Israel assembly, The land we passed through and explored is exceedingly good. If the Lord is pleased with us, he will lead us into that land, a land flowing with milk and honey, and will give it to us. Only do not rebel against the Lord, and do not be afraid of the people of the land, because we will devour them. Their protection is gone, but the Lord is with us. Do not be afraid of them. Notice that Joshua and Caleb did not go by what they saw. The truth is that there were giants in the land, but they ignored the size of these giants and instead focused on the Lord. They believed that the Israelites could defeat these giants with the help of God and take the land their God had promised them. And therefore Joshua and Caleb encouraged the people by telling them not to be afraid. But the other ten spies focused on the size of the giants and not God. So they discouraged the Israelites by their words, by spreading a bad report about the land among the people. And because of their lack of faith in God, God rejected them and they all died in the wilderness. Only Joshua and Caleb went into the promised land because they believed God. The book of 1 Samuel chapter 17 talks about the story of David and Goliath. Goliath was so big that the Israel army was so afraid of him. In the book of 1 Samuel chapter 17 verse 24, the word of the Lord says that, Whenever the Israelites saw the man, they all fled from him in great fear. These men had been trained and equipped to fight in a battle. But the sight of Goliath struck terror in them that they did not dare fight him. They just fled. When David stepped forward to fight Goliath, David said to Goliath in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 17 verse 45, you come against me with sword and a spear and a javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defiled. Notice that when David saw Goliath, he did not consider his size. 
he did not focus on his size, nor did he focus on his own strength. He came to Goliath in the name of the Lord, and therefore he was not afraid of him. On the other hand, the Israel army were men trained and equipped for battle. But when they saw Goliath, they focused on his size, and therefore were so afraid of him. They did not even try to fight him, they just fled. To finish off, although David was just a boy, he managed to defeat Goliath with just a sling and a stone because of his faith in God. And also Joshua and Caleb entered the promised land because of their faith in God. All the giants in the land were defeated by the people of Israel through God. But the ten spies, also leaders of the people of Israel, who spread a bad report about the land among the people, all perished in the wilderness together with the people who believed their report. They perished in the wilderness because they did not believe God.